Namaste to one and all. I am Madhuri at Science at your tips. So today we have the topic periodic properties. We will continue that. In that we are going to discuss especially about the ionization energy. What are the factors affecting the ionization energy? In previous video we have already seen how it changes in the period and also in the group. So there we have seen that in a group if you see based on the number of shells, based on the atomic size, ionization is decreasing from top to bottom in a group. Like that in a period if you observe, we have observed that there is no order for this ionization energy. Mostly it increases but somewhere it decreases also. So there we have seen that some of the factors are affecting this ionization energy. So here briefly we will discuss about what are those factors, how they are affecting. Right? So here we have ionization energy and the factors affecting this ionization energy are nuclear charge, atomic size, shielding effect also called as screening effect, then penetration power, then the last one stable electronic configuration. So first one if you see nuclear charge. So whenever the charge on the nucleus is more means the number of protons are more then what happens charge will be more if you compare two different elements two different elements if you observe there whichever is having more nuclear charge it will have attractive power on the last electron more means if you are if you are taking two elements two elements or you take two ions whenever nuclear charge is more here what happens it is going to attract this electron more towards it more towards the nucleus. So that is why we have to apply more amount of energy to remove this electron out. Like that if you take another element or ion you take here nuclear charge is less compared with this one. Now let us take this as A and B. A has more nuclear charge so attractive power on the outermost electron is more that is why we have to apply more amount of energy there. Here in this case size is more means the distance is more from the nucleus to the outermost electron that is why here what happens an electron will be removed easily from this element or ion right now so we can say that if you take nuclear energy nuclear charge into consideration we can say that ionization energy is directly proportional ionization energy is directly proportional to nuclear charge so one statement we got when nuclear charge increases energy required to remove the outermost electron also increases so we can say they are directly proportional ionization energy is directly proportional to nuclear charge coming to the next one atomic size already we have seen in the previous video that when atomic size increases distance between the outermost electron to the nucleus also increases so because of that what happens it will be removed easily electron from the outermost electron means uh, electron from the outermost shell will be removed easily so here we can say that ionization energy is inversely proportional to the atomic size atomic size or atomic radius ionization energy is inversely proportional when size is more ionization energy is less because it has more metallic nature, more electropositive nature, it loses the electron very easily. Tendency to lose the outermost electron is nothing but electropositivity. Electropositivity is more for the larger atom. So that is why ionization energy will be less. When you take the smaller atom, smaller element, what happens here? As the distance is less, attractive power on the outermost electron is more. That is why we have to apply more amount of energy there to remove the electron. Size is less, ionization energy is more. Size is more, ionization energy is less. So inversely proportional. Then coming to the third factor, shielding effect. So this one also, actually we have seen that ionization energy, when you see in the groups from top to bottom, how it changes. So shielding effect means nothing but if you take two elements here, two shells are there, two shells are there. In the second shell, outermost electron is present. First shell contains two electrons. First shell contains two electrons. So, if this nucleus wants to attract this outermost electron, if nucleus wants to attract the outermost electron, what happens here? These two electrons, whatever are there, they are not present in that particular place only. Every time they are revolving around the nucleus. So, because of that, what happens? There will be 
they will be reducing the effect of the nucleus on the outermost electron because of that here electron can be removed easily means these two are acting like a screen they are acting like a screen they are reducing the attractive power of the nucleus on the outermost electron now if you take some other element here we have three shells here nucleus is there here outermost electron is present first shell contains two electrons as we know and second shell is containing totally eight electrons so we have seen uh, previously already that after completing eight electrons in second shell only next electron will enter into third shell so because of that what happens here shielding effect is more in this in this case because three shells are there the two shells electrons means totally 10 electrons 1s2 2s2 2p6 totally number of electrons here 10 electrons are avoiding means reducing the effect of the nucleus on the outermost electron so in the second case shielding effect is more they are acting like a screen so the electrons present in the inner shells the electrons present in the inner shells will be acting like a screen we can say one more name also for this core electrons core electrons are nothing but inner shell electrons inner shell electrons are acting like a screen reducing the uh, attractive power of the nucleus on the outermost electron right so that is why as shielding effect is more what happens nuclear attraction on the outermost electron is less that is why we can remove the electron very easily so we can say that ionization energy is directly proportional uh, ionization energy is inversely proportional to the shielding effect shielding effect is more ionization energy is less so here for this uh, nuclear charge we have seen that it is directly proportional atomic size direct uh, inversely proportional and uh, shielding effect uh, inversely proportional shielding effect is more ionization energy is less shielding effect is less ionization energy is more now we will go to the next one penetration power or penetration effect so what is this penetration power or penetration effect so to understand this you should have a knowledge of what is the shape of the orbitals so here we have up to today we have the elements which are containing s p d f orbitals right so if you see the shape of these orbitals s orbitals are having spherical shape p orbitals dumbbell shape d orbitals double dumbbell shape f orbitals complex right so in these all if you see s orbitals spherical in shape they are very very smaller that the electrons present in these in these orbitals are attracted more towards the nucleus right so penetration power of s orbitals is greater then coming to p orbitals the dumbbell shape is there so dumbbell shape means the electrons present in this dumbbell shape are not attracted more towards the nucleus compared with the electrons present in s orbitals so that is why p orbitals are having somewhat less penetration effect now we will go for d orbitals they have double dumbbell shape they have double dumbbell shape so electrons present in d orbitals are not attracted that much as p and s orbitals electrons are attracted so that is why still penetration power of d orbitals is still less and same like that if you go for f orbitals penetration power of the electron present in the f orbitals is still less compared with the d p and also s so if you are if you want to remove the electron present in the outermost shell right if you have the electron in s orbitals we can't remove that electron that much easily as we are able to remove the electron of p orbital because it is not attracted more towards the nucleus when you go for d and p orbitals if you want to compare then what happens the d orbital electron we are able to remove easily compared with the f orbitals means compared with the uh, p orbital f orbital electron can be removed very easily compared with the d orbital so when penetration power is more penetration power is more attractive power towards the nucleus is more that is why what happens here we have to apply more amount of energy so for this penetration power ionization energy is directly proportional ionization energy is directly proportional to this penetration power my uh, size of the orbital is less penetration power is more ionization energy also will be more we have to apply more amount of energy on that particular electron if it is present in s orbitals more than p then d then f right now the last one we have here stable electronic configuration 
if you see the stable electronic configuration when the element will have stable electronic configuration means when it will have stability if it is having octet configuration right octet configuration is there means nearest inert gas configuration inert gas configuration is there it will be stable otherwise at least half filled electronic configuration should be there half filled it should have then only it will get the stability either fully filled electron configuration half filled electron configuration octet configuration nearest inert gas configuration nearest inert gas means mostly octet only only in the case of helium we have a duplet no so near to helium whichever the elements are there they may have duplet configuration so that is why i am saying the word especially as nearest inert gas configuration so if they are having this type of configuration they are more stable now just we see here we have sodium and magnesium if you compare ionization energy of uh, sodium and magnesium magnesium has more ionization energy compared with sodium right because size is smaller if you see the electronic configuration of sodium and magnesium sodium has 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 electron is present in 3s here means outermost electron is present in 3s here in the case of magnesium 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 both the electrons both the outermost electrons are present in 3s only so what we have to compare here we have to compare the atomic size and even nuclear charge also nuclear charge present in the magnesium is more atomic size is less that is why ionization energy is more so if you want to remove the first electron from sodium first electron from sodium to convert that into na plus ion we have to apply the ionization energy which is called as first ionization energy first ionization energy means energy required to remove the electron present on the outermost shell of a neutral gaseous atom energy required to remove the electron in from the outermost shell of a neutral gaseous atom is called as first ionization energy if you are removing the second electron from that ion whatever is formed that is called as second ionization energy means we are removing the second electron right now coming to magnesium we want to remove the electron from this magnesium we will apply ionization energy 1 that is first ionization energy here magnesium plus 1 is formed now if you compare mg plus 1 and na plus 1 already we have removed one electron what happens it is going to have the configuration of as this electron is removed here 1s2 2s2 2p6 it will contain the inert gas configuration that is neon now if you see here magnesium it will contain the electronic configuration of sodium same like sodium it will have that is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 because only one electron we have removed now if you compare here it is getting the configuration of neon and this is getting the configuration of Na means mg plus 1 electronic configuration I am saying only about electronic configuration not about the protons protons number is same everywhere if you remove the electrons also 12 only will be there in magnesium and here only 11 are there I am not talking about the protons, I am saying only about the electrons. So, electrons present in sodium plus ion equal to neon and electrons present in Mg plus 1 is equal to sodium. Right. Now, what happens here in these two cases? Now, we wanted to remove the second electron. So, removing second electron from this Na plus is greater means we have to apply more amount of energy to remove the second electron from sodium compared with the energy required to remove the second electron from magnesium because it is containing the electronic configuration of sodium right so here electronic configuration of uh, sodium plus ion is becoming like inert gas configuration it is getting the stable electronic configuration but mg plus 1 is not containing the stable electronic configuration and even it is containing more amount of nuclear charge also right now here you see one more thing we'll see here like if you compare sodium uh, if you compare if you take uh, nitrogen nitrogen we have here before nitrogen we have carbon and after nitrogen we have oxygen carbon atomic number six nitrogen atomic number seven oxygen atomic number eight so these three if you compare greatest will be nitrogen ionization energy of nitrogen will be greater among the three why we are saying like that because here carbon is having atomic number six so we can write 1s2 2s2 2p2 and nitrogen we can write 1s2 2s2 2p3 and oxygen we can write 1s2 2s2 2p4 if you see these three electron configurations half filled electron configuration is there for nitrogen so that is why it is greater 
means compared with carbon it is greater and even if you compare with oxygen also it is greater only because it is having the half filled electronic configuration it will contain stability right so these are the factors which are affecting the ionization energy those are nuclear charge atomic size shielding effect or screening effect and one more is penetration power and stable electronic configuration if any element is containing the stable electronic configuration energy required to remove the uh, particular electron from the outermost shell also is more right so this is about the factors affecting the ionization energy thank you for watching my video and uh, like comment and share my videos thank you